there is gonna be a big big shift i just don't want to jinx anything but yeah there's a lot happening in terms of my recurring bill payments every single month and i expect it to go a lot higher than what it is today hi everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we are finally doing our october financial reset if you've been following along you would know that i'm currently in the east coast so i'm visiting my family here in toronto and that's why this video is late and that's why we are in a bit of a different environment right now i'm in my parents like little plant room my mom's got such beautiful plants in this room and i thought i'd film here because it's just so beautiful but anyway Anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. By the way, if you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Riza. I usually like to do videos talking all about personal finances. So if you're into that, then please subscribe down below. If you're new and maybe if you're not new, typically what we do here in these videos is that we look back on our previous month to see how we did with our budget. And then we also set some goals and a budget for the upcoming month of October. So let's look back on the previous month of September to see how we did with our budget. I've got my handy laptop here and my budget tracker open. So I'm gonna be referencing that if you see me looking down. We usually always start off with income. So this month was exciting because we had a three paycheck month. If you work a corporate job or just a salary job and you get paid bi-weekly, then you would know. So this month for my corporate job, I got paid $8,568. That is a total for all three of those paychecks. They usually hover around 2800 per paycheck yeah i would say obviously that's a pretty good month because typically we only have two paychecks every single month and then moving into my savings goal so right now i'm not really saving up for anything in particular i was saving for a big birthday gift for myself earlier in the year and right now i'm only saving up for my emergency fund i have a very big goal of twenty thousand for the end of the year and I'm pretty behind. Let me actually check where I'm at in terms of my goal for my emergency fund. I like to use EQ Bank for all of my emergency fund needs because it is a free checking account essentially. So I really like them and they also have a pretty good interest rate. I think right now it's at 3%. So my emergency fund is sitting at $11,291 at the moment. I've had to dip into this emergency fund a little bit throughout the year because we've had some emergency, which is exactly what this is for. And I think it's just set me back maybe a couple months from my goal of 20,000. I'm not sure if I'll hit 20,000, but I will try. I think with the cadence of $200 bi-weekly, I won't get there, but if I make a big lump sum, like let's say there's a bunch of money that just comes my way, I can definitely put it into that. But right now with just $200 bi-weekly, I don't think I'll get there. So getting back into the budget tracker, as I mentioned, like to save $200 of my paycheck. So I had put in $600 this month, which is great. Moving into my investments, similar to my emergency fund, I like to invest around $200 every paycheck. I feel like this is a good amount. Last year, I remember only putting down $100. So I've already doubled that. So I feel pretty good about how much I'm putting into my investing account. And as mentioned, since it is a three paycheck month, I was able to put down $600 into my investing account this month as well, which is amazing. And then getting into the meaty stuff, which is my bill payments as well as my expenses. So I like to split out my bill payments separate from just my variable expenses. It helps me keep track of everything that I need to pay in any given month. That could be rent or my storage unit, my Spotify subscription, um, any types of subscription, things that I use for my small business all go into this bill payments. I won't go through all of them because honestly there is a long list so I will just pop a screenshot here so you guys can see. In terms of my bill payments this month, I paid $2,197.90 which is pretty in line with what I thought it would be. I think that that's fine and all of these things I need to pay every single month because they're just my recurring bill payments. And then getting into my expenses this month, this is not bad. There's definitely some red, but it could have been worse, I guess, is like how I'm thinking about it. I'm gonna highlight a few of the key categories that I spent money on this month. So alcohol, coffee, and eating out are actually pretty good. I'm in the green for those. My grocery bill is slightly over. I'm a little bit over by $60. 
my personal care is way over so i usually like to budget 90 dollars. i think of personal care as things like getting my nails done or getting a haircut maybe getting some skin care at the drugstore it happened to be that i needed to refill all of my skin care this month i had to pay quite a bit for that and then i also got a haircut and i got my nails done so it was the perfect storm of needing everything that I usually put into my personal care all at once. It usually doesn't happen like this, but it did. So I spent $209.72. So I'm over by $119 for this category. My shopping is not too bad. I'm over by $14.64 this month. My transportation is over by $12. I took some Ubers while I was in Montreal. So that was what that is. Cypher, who is my cat, I spent $146.57. I like to budget around $30 for him. I usually just buy like food here and there. I also split this bill with my partner. So that's why I only usually put $30. But this month we ended up getting him a new litter box. We needed to get litter. We needed to get his big bag of food. So that was a lot and it ended up being $146. So I'm definitely over my budget for this month. And then the last category I wanna to touch on, which is actually where I spent the most this month is gifts. So I think I just under budgeted a lot for this. I was hoping to spend $200 because it's my dad's birthday this month. It's actually his birthday in a couple days. And I thought I would get him something around the $200 range. I ended up splitting a big gift with my mom and my brother. So we're getting him a TV because the one that he had in the living room broke and that TV was around like $1,700. I didn't budget for that. I didn't know that that's what they were going to get him and that we were going to split it. So it's totally fine, obviously. So I just under budgeted quite a bit for this category. And that's why I am over by $400 in this category. So in total, everything that I spent in terms of my variable expenses this month, I budgeted $1,765 and I'm over by $2,408. So over by $643, which is a lot, but it's also been worse. So not my worst month, but also didn't really stick to my budget as well as I could have, I think. Before we move into the October budget, I kind of want to talk about some of the goals that I had set for the month of September and just how I've been feeling this month. So I mentioned in my September financial reset that I wanted to stick to four, let's call them intangible goals because they're not things that you necessarily acquire, but they're more of like a mindset shift throughout the month. So I mentioned that I wanted to follow the four agreements because I think that I really needed that type of mindset shift for this previous month. There's just been a lot going on in terms of my nine to five job. My manager is on sabbatical and I needed to fill in for her. And it's just been a pretty tough month and I was kind of expecting that because obviously I needed to support her while she is on her sabbatical and I still needed to do my job. And yeah, it was definitely a lot, but the four agreements, I'll kind of remind you guys of what they are. So the first one is be impeccable with your word. The second one is do not take anything personally. The third one is don't make assumptions. And the fourth agreement is always do your best. So I wanted to keep those four things in mind throughout this month of September and also just throughout my life because there are definitely really good things to keep in mind just in your day to day. I feel like I have been following these agreements and I'm having an okay month. It was definitely very busy at work and then I also did a big launch of my 2024 planners for the line which is my small business. There's definitely a lot of things and I just tried not to get too overwhelmed with everything and take things day by day. So I would say I don't want to say like I achieved them because they're just things that you always work on. So I'll definitely keep them in mind for my October goals as well. Okay, so let's get into my October budget. So this month is only a two paycheck month. So typically I like to budget $2,000 or expect $2,000 for my monthly paycheck. It's usually a little bit higher than that, but I just like to lowball it in case there's any deductions that get taken out. So I usually expect $4,000 in terms of my corporate job every single month. Next is getting into my savings. So for my savings, as mentioned, I only do my emergency fund right now, which is $200 every single month, which 
should equal $400. With my investments, same as my emergency fund, I like to put down $200 every single paycheck, which would equate to $400 every single month. And then for my bill payments, again, I have a long list of these, so I will put them over here for you guys as a reference. These have not changed since the previous month. However, I will say that we received some pretty tough news earlier in September and there is going to be a big, big shift in terms of my bill payments every month going forward, not in October, but I would say maybe in November and maybe in December. I'm not going to say what that is just yet, but I just want to seed it here and I just don't want to jinx anything. But yeah, there's a lot happening in terms of my recurring bill payments every single month and I expect it to go a lot higher than what it is today. So that's just a little bit of a sneak peek and keep an eye out in my next financial reset to see what happens. And then in terms of my variable spending, it's pretty much the same as my September budget. So we've got alcohol at $25, coffee is around $60, for my eating out, I lowered this down to $400. I only increased it last month because I was gonna be in Montreal and Toronto. My groceries is always at $300. My personal care, I increased to $100 just in case because I feel like I've gone over this the last two months. And my shopping is $150. Transportation is $10. Cypher is $30. My vacation, I lowered down to $0 because I'm not doing anything or going anywhere in the month of October. Home is zero, gifts is zero, and YouTube is zero. So that might change. I don't foresee anything happening. So the total in terms of my variable spending is $1,065 for the month of October. Let's see if I stick to that budget. It seems fairly low for me. And what I'll say is my small business expenses are no longer part of of this monthly series because I've essentially taken that out because they're now in a separate account whereas before they were all together. I do have some really really exciting small business launches coming up if you have been following the line or if, actually if you don't know anything about the line it is a stationary small business that I run on my own and we have a really exciting collaboration that is coming up at the end of October slash early November. So please keep an eye out for that. And that's it. That is my October monthly budget. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really supports the channel. And wherever you are, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Bye, you guys.